Yeah, My name is Basant Sreshta and I'm from Nepal. Uh, I've been associated with the One Laptop Per Child project in Nepal for the last four years now. Um, so I've come here for the summit. Uh, I've come all the way from Asia, Nepal. Cool. And uh, what first got you started? Uh, in uh, 2008, um, uh, you know, the first uh, One Laptop Per Child program uh, was really piloted in two of the schools in uh, a nearby district of Kathmandu in the capital city of Nepal. And then uh, the feedback really was very good at the time. And, and uh, now we're implementing this One Laptop Per Child in about uh, 40 schools now, we have uh, um, implemented, deployed over 4,000 4, laptops in many uh, districts of Nepal. So we, are, we have plans to even go further and we are uh, in the uh, recent future, near future, we are planning to um, go to a very remote village of Nepal called Bazang and we are doing, uh, you know, we are deploying XO4 there. So really excited about that. Cool. And then what was the moment where you go, oh, this is what I want to do, this is where you decided you want to really get involved? So the um, education system is Nepal, uh, edu education system in Nepal is very poor, you know. Poor in the sense that uh, uh, in, the, in the remote villages of Nepal, if you go, uh, you wouldn't find uh, it is uh, the, you know, the teachers who are very qualified are uh, in scares, you, you wouldn't find very qualified teachers there. So um, you, you would uh, be amazed to know that uh, three quarters of uh, Nepali public school students uh, fail uh, the national board exam every year. So this is mainly because there is, there is no qualified teachers in the remote villages of Nepal. So uh, our idea is to basically, you know, uh, set up a mechanism wherein we can, we can, uh, uh, you know, uh, have those kids, uh, uh, play with these, uh, uh, you know, interactive learning materials that we've been developing, quality education materials, then we can, they can learn themselves. They don't have to depend on the teachers uh, in the schools. So that's what, uh, um, that's what, uh, 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 you know, uh, actually started us to uh, do one laptop per child project in Nepal. Okay. And then what are some of the most uh, difficult things about working in Nepal? Mm -hmm. Uh, in Nepal, uh, this uh, laptop thing is really uh, very new. Uh, if you go to the remote village, uh, you will find that 90% of the teachers in the school wouldn't have used computer. Uh, 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 you know, this computer is uh, still very new in the remote villages of Nepal. So um, basically, the challenge basically is to, you know, um, have these teachers, have these instruct instructors, uh, you know, get used to using laptops. So they are totally scared of new technologies. And this is the m major, uh, you know, uh, problem in Nepal. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's the main uh, problem. They are hesitant to use technology in okay. the first place. Cool. And then what kind of changes would you say you've seen in both the kids and the teachers since the laptop project has started? Mm -hmm. um, uh, time and then when we go to schools, we get uh, feedback that uh, the, ch the, children's, the children are very, you know, um, they, are, they, can, they can learn on their own pace and they are, they are being more and more smart. They, they are not afraid to use technology nowadays. So uh, children are, you know, uh, being uh, comfortable with technology and that's what we, you know, uh, actually want to see uh, children going. Okay, cool. And then what about volunteer opportunities in Nepal? Mm -hmm. If people wanted to go and volunteer and help you guys, well, how would they go about that? Mm -hmm. uh, there are volunteer opportunities and in the past uh, many international experts, volunteers have come to Nepal and helped us uh, developing, uh, helped us in development of these uh, learning materials that we develop. And uh, you know, if uh, the volunteer has the right you know, uh, skill set to fit in our office context, uh, to fit in uh, the programming uh, thing, they can come to Nepal and stay for a few months. There is no problem. Cool. And then, um, what's the thing that you would like to uh, share about, you know, a question I haven't asked, but something you'd like to share about the Nepal program to all the people that are seeing this? Mm -hmm. uh, well, 
uh, this is uh, one laptop per child is a very you know um, unique uh, unique and very effective way to uh, way to you know actually um, uh, educate uh, the children of developing world where there is uh, you know where there is no quality uh, teachers available where there are many other challenges uh, to the uh, you know education system so this is one laptop per child is a very good project actually and i want to see this going forward in the uh, coming years okay and then based on that what do you think the future of one lap what do you think the future will be like in five or ten years with one laptop per child in nepal uh, uh we're moving forward and uh, we're um, you know in about uh, the span of four to five years, we have plans to, uh, you know, um, we have plans to, you know, uh, do one laptop per child in all the schools in one district. So um, uh, I, I hope it will go well, and it will prove to be a very good technology device that children can use. Cool. Excellent.